starting the weekend off in Shibuya. My office mates and I planned a kira kira karaoke night or like sparkling karaoke night. So you all have to dress up kind of like this, like lots of glitter, lots of sparkles. And I think like my top is a little lacking. So I might check out H&M just to see if they have any cheap tops for sale. Yeah, I totally forgot how crowded Shibuya can get on a weekend. And it's just Friday afternoon now, so what more Saturday afternoon or Sunday? It's crazy. I don't ever remember it being this crowded. I'm gonna meet up with my office mates now. I feel like I'm not really in theme. But that's only because I didn't find anything nice. So, oh well. I'm excited for the drink bar. Office mates are here. Yay. Yeah. 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 The, the back of the remote controller. Ah, correct. What is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This just ended and we're in 7-Eleven um, right now. I'm looking for some snacks to take home. I did have breakfast, so yeah. This is really good if you can get this. Today I'm heading to Jiogaoka. I'm going to meet up with Karin for lunch and we're all going to meet up with Raisa and Kenny. It's going to be really fun. It's been a while since I've been to Jiogaoka, maybe a few weeks. I'm excited to go. It's one of my most favorite neighborhoods here. It's really quiet and I feel like it's not too hard to get a seat at certain places, certain cafes. So yeah, I'm not naked. This is the outfit. It's officially rainy season in Tokyo, but today it's luckily sunny so hopefully we can find a nice place outdoors to sit and chat and stuff with karen say hi hello <laughs> my lemon squad <laughs> Right next to the fan. If you guys are wondering, that's a fan. It's not like... Hindi <laughs> 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 Break your laptop in half. <laughs> Just... Oh! No, my laptop's gonna break the back. <laughs> it looks like a hoof. <laughs> <laughs>
morning. The day is a Monday and this week I'm actually kind of busy. Every week I have to update an article on our website and it requires a lot of research most of the time. Like last week I uploaded an article about how it's like to get your driver's license in Japan if you already have a license from your home country and converting that into a Japanese license or like the rules of using an international driver's permit in Japan and how to get it from scratch. So that took a little bit of research. And then after that, I also did another one on how to read a Japanese payslip, which I think is quite important if you plan on working in Japan, you need to know exactly where the deductions of your salary are going, especially to taxes and pension and stuff like that. So for me, it's been a little bit tedious, but I've been learning so much as well. So I'm really looking forward to updating more articles because not only do I get it up on the blog and I feel productive, but I also learn a lot about living in Japan, like stuff I wouldn't normally have the energy to Google. I end up having to do it for my job, so overall it works out. And yeah, I think sometime this week, oh, at the end of this week, I'm actually going to meet up with my friend Francesca and her husband Edward, and we're gonna go have dinner um, somewhere in Shibuya. I'm really excited. They're from Singapore and they're coming to visit. And yeah, I'm just, it's been a while. Francesca, Cheska was my thesis mate way back when in the LSU. And now we're both married, we're both living in different countries, and it's just going to be really fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing her. In the middle of the week, you know, if I can squeeze in a nice cafe during my lunch break or a run after work, I'm definitely bringing you guys along with me. What's sad though is that I did not get into the half marathon that I signed up for because running is such a popular sport in Japan. For a lot of these major running events, they do have a lottery even if you live in Japan. I wasn't picked, I didn't win the lottery, but Shogo did and I was telling him he should just do it, honestly. Like, I think it would be a good experience for him, but he was like the whole point of doing this half marathon was so we could train together and we could run it together. I don't know, maybe he won't end up signing up for it, but you know, there's always next year for the two of us. I was kind of bummed, but at the same time, I was like, well, it's only the first year that I've started running, so I, I do want to take it easy and build my base more. I feel like I don't have much of a base compared to Shogo, who prior to dating me has already been running a little bit here and there, so he's not starting from nothing, whereas I am. Someone rang our doorbell a while ago and I was really surprised because normally they'll ring the intercom so we can let them in the building but because they directly rang our doorbell I was like oh it's somebody in the building and it was my landlord and my landlord I feel like I'm super lucky Shogun and I are super lucky to have them because they are so nice and they always give us gifts and um, this time Japanese watermelon. Ah, I'm so excited. Japanese watermelon is so sweet and it's perfect because the humidity today is insane. So I'm gonna get half of this and I'm gonna give the other half to Shogo. He's in a meeting right now. And this evening, Shogo and I are actually gonna go out and we're gonna have some dinner together. We normally have date nights at least once a week, just the two of us. I think. It's, uh, it's really different when you live with your partner, right? Like, you think that you're spending a lot of time together, but actually you need to focus on the quality of time that you have together. So we just try to make it a point to go out at least once, once a week, normally twice. And the rest of the time, we're just at home watching Netflix or Amazon Prime. Lately, we've been re-watching The Boys because we got super into it again after watching a few episodes of season four. It's been so good so far. This is how it looks like. I'm so excited. It looks so juicy. Mm. I used to hate eating watermelon because I would find eating seeds so troublesome, but yeah, this one barely has any, so. I think I've already mentioned it in the past, but there are certain landlords in Japan um, that won't rent out the foreigners. But luckily, my landlord like has lived in America. He even has a green card. Um, he, he and his wife lived in California for a bit, so they're super welcoming. And I think I've like this is the best apartment I've ever lived in. And we're coming up on we're coming up on four years of living here, and I love my neighborhood. Mm. Good stuff. 
I'll check in with you guys again. Maybe later in show when I go out. So yeah. I just signed out of work and I'm going to Komazawa Park right now. I'm gonna meet up with Raisa and we're gonna go jogging. We're going to do a really easy zone 2 run because honestly now that it's summer my heart rate just spikes because it's so hot and my zone 2s look very different so I think it's also a good way to like adapt. It's technically a form of heat training when you train in the summer because the temperature is harder to work with but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really trying to stay consistent. And I don't know, zone 2 runs are super chill. I get to think and I get to enjoy the scenery around me. There's no pressure. It's really just keeping your heart rate as low as possible so you can recover and do harder runs down the line. And uh, since I don't have a base, it's really important to build it. And I'm still pretty much in that phase right now. So yeah, let's go to Komazawa and meet up with Miss Raisa. Finally met up with Miss Raisa. We're jogging now. <laughs> How do you feel? We're actually running our mouths more than actually running right now. But you know, it's fine. So let's go. <laughs> oh! Yeah, well that was a weekend. So we just finished jogging and we're at Raisa's house right now. We ordered fried chicken, Korean fried chicken. Um, but in the meantime, the past time, we're gonna have some appetizers. Appetizers being these hot Cheetos that Miss Raisa brought back from America. And I've never had them because I don't really do well with spice. Miss Raisa said she could have three? Three pieces. Three pieces until she gave up. But because she still has a full bag, we're gonna try them now. I'm scared. But, you know, it's for the plot. I thought you were gonna cheers. Oh! <laughs> Spit it back up. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. One piece is not that bad. Yeah, one piece is not bad. But I think I need to sip. 